Hey, what's up guys? Uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these. I'm actually, I think it was about two years ago that I did a mod update on the car. Um, you know, there's been some changes since I've done this last, so I figured might as well do kind of a quick walk around and kind of go over what's been done since then. <clears throat> um, I'm actually in the same spot as I was when I did the last one. Um, but yeah, let's go over what's been done. So I guess the first thing that you would see <clears throat> are the wheels. Um, these are Enki RS05RRs. Um, they're 18 by nine and a half plus 35. And I'm running um, Michelin the AS3s all seasons and 265-35. Um, I've had these for about a year and a half now. Um, and I absolutely love them. They're, the color is great on the, on the lapis blue. Um, I get compliments on them all the time. You don't see them too often on these cars, which is a nice thing. Um, you're not always running. You don't want to be running the same wheels as everybody else, so it's kind of nice to have something a little bit different. Um, it's a great wheel. I haven't had any problems. Uh, it has a nice concave to it. You can kind of see. It's kind of hard to tell in the video, but um, in person, they look great. Um, I have been thinking about changing them up. I actually have some Volk uh, ZE40s on order, um, but I'm not quite sure if I want to switch it up just yet. Um, kind of back and forth on what I want to do, so I might change it up, might not, not sure. Um, suspension, uh, I can't really show it. I believe it's the Gen 6 Fortune Auto 500s. Um, I'm, I'm on 7K Swiss Springs all around. Uh, I did drive the car, so I didn't want anything too harsh or too rough. Um, you know, I drive my kids and my family in here, so I wanted something that, you know, was still sporty enough, um, you know, to be able to drive spiritedly, um, yet still be comfortable for every single day. I don't want to go crazy and go to something too, too firm. Um, I've had them on for, I want to say almost 20,000 miles now. And I absolutely love them. I've had all different types of coilovers and suspension in the past, and these have been my favorite. They, um, they're quiet. Uh, I don't have any issues with them. They, um, they're really comfortable for every single day. I still am shocked about how compliant they are with driving every single day. Um, you know, it's not, you know, stock suspension is actually more firm than this, I th in my opinion at least, um, but I love them. I also did the uh, CS style lip kit, just on the front and sides. Um, it's actually a cheap eBay. Uh, lip kit, nothing crazy. Um, I wanted to do the eventually do carbon fiber, but I'm not sure if I want to put out the money for that just because they're so low to the ground. I live in New Jersey, um, and I don't want to get them have them get ripped up. I'd be pretty upset if I uh damaged it, you know, a thousand dollar lip kit as opposed to I think it's like two or three hundred dollars for these two pieces. Um, I mean, I think it looks good, and you know, it, it takes a beating, so you know, if it does get you know scratches and everything I'm not upset about it um, I don't have them in the rear mainly because I have the, um, the USDM splash guards if that's what they're called I forget um, it kind of I think they look great because it lowers the rear end on the sides uh, flows really well I wasn't crazy about the uh, JDM ones they go up a little bit higher and they kind of like blend over into the diffuser part um, I think they look great, great too, but this kind of just flowed a little bit better uh, on my car, so I went with them. Um, I recently just did the taillights. I wanted to do the super speed ones, but there's been so many issues with, with condensation and LEDs going out and everything. Um, so I wanted something that was OEM, um, but kind of blend it in with the car a little bit more. The, the stock ones are just too red. They they're, they pop out too much. It's kind of a, it catches your eye and it kind of disrupts the lines of the car, at least in my opinion, I think. Um, so what I did, um, I actually had a buddy of mine um, get a set of new taillights, new OEM taillights. These are actually from a 2019 STI. Um, and I had him cut them open and actually paint the chrome bezels inside black 
Um, what that does is it actually creates more of a cherry red look. So kind of it looks tinted, but it's actually it doesn't um, affect the output lighting. Um, I think it just looks way better. It flows with the car way, way, way better. Um, and it doesn't pop out as much. So it's not, you know, you're not looking at the lines of the car and it doesn't distract you at any point. Um, and I just think it looks way better, especially with this color. Forgot to mention on the wheels. So let's go to the other side. It's not as sunny. Um, I have the Volk Racing, um, I forget what they call, they're called. They're, they're aluminum lug nuts. Uh, they're nice. They have uh, you can see kind of the writing on the outside and it says Volk Racing on a rate. What does it say? I don't even know. I think it says Raise. Yeah, it says Raise um, in white, which matches the calipers well. Um, and also the, the fender badge on the side. Um, I just, I think it looks really great. I actually had, I think in my last video, I had them as the, uh, the Ray 57 DRs, um, which matched great. You know, it's perfect. Um, but these are Enkis, as I said earlier. Um, but it, you know, it flows really nice and I think it looks good with the black. I don't, I don't like doing any color lugs because first of all, they, they, they do fade over time and lugs aren't really a thing that I, I really like, uh, to stand out that much. Um, also on the rear end, I did the carbon fiber, uh, I don't know, the trim, whatever you want to call it. Um, license plate, plate frame as well. Uh, you know, little things. I, I love carbon fiber, but I don't want to go overboard. I don't want to do everything carbon fiber. So that's probably it that I'm going to do in the car. Um, like I said, I might do the, um, the lift kit around carbon fiber, but I'm not sure yet. Uh, I also have the F1 style light. Um, uh, pretty, pretty standard stuff, um, uh, on the car. That a lot of people do um, I went with the tinted look or the whatever you want to call it um, just because I wanted it to blend in with the, the fuser more I don't want the red to stand out too much I don't think uh, something that you really want to notice I guess I think it just looks better and kind of blends in and lights up when it needs to um, exhaust I am running a Delta Motor Works um, pretty much it's a cat back uh, there's no resonators at all no mufflers uh, it sounds really good um, lots of pops and bangs when you're on it um, it drones a little bit but it's I've gotten so used to it that I really don't think it's that bad and actually when you're cruising it's it's pretty it's pretty uh, reasonable um, for not having any mufflers on the car it's I think it's a uh, I think it's like the best of both worlds um, like I said there is a little bit of drone but that's kind of expected when you take all the mufflers out and um, you know have a louder car but that's that's to be expected um what else oh, I've, oh that's right i've also done the <coughs> carbon reproductions carbon fiber mirror covers they're not capped they don't they don't go over the oems um these are actually complete replacements which i wanted uh, i didn't want to put anything over the oem ones i wanted the actual replacements um they're awesome i think it looks great with the blue um what else? I also done the uh, sequential uh, turn signal uh, turn signal lights on here as well. Um, adds a cool little little touch to it, uh, just because everything else is LED on the car, and uh, I, I just think it looks good. That blends in. I had ones that the inside was white, and it kind of stood out too much, so I got ones that are smoked, so it blends in a little bit more. I also have the um, OLM convex mirrors in gold. It's more yellow. Um, the, act, the yellow actually helps you see at night a little bit better. Uh, I just like the color of the yellow. It looks cool with the blue, so I went with those. Um, it was like $500 in mirror mods, which is so unnecessary, but whatever. I think it looks cool. Uh, the front end, uh, not much. I have the uh, JDM grill, which I think looks way better with that, that you know, the line through the middle uh, that the US one has. Um, I also did the badge uh it's what it's gloss black it's actual you know, it's not a sticker it's an actual badge um it's gloss black with white stars and the uh gloss black trim the whatever you want to call it the trim around it um i've done the olm led turn signals uh, i just wanted something that would blend in with the uh the bezel here i know I, I think it stood out a little too much when it was clear um, i was and i actually have done um, the Morimoto LED fogs 
which have a black housing inside, um, which blends in a little bit better. But I just prefer the look of uh, just an LED bulb. So I have um, Subi LED, um, LED bulbs in there, as well as the DRLs. Um, I do want, I would like at some point to change up the front bumper to the 2018 style. I think that looks way better. Um, and I would do the uh, LED strip on top of the bezels there. Um, I also want to get do the headlights at some point, do some type of sea light, um, get rid of the orange there. But otherwise, that's pretty much the front end. I don't run a front license plate. Um, I should, but I don't. I actually have the, I did at one point. So there are holes there, which sucks. But um, if I do get the 2018 bumper, I will not be drilling it. Um, I also have some carbon fiber vinyl there, which is not really anything, but I think it just kind of breaks it up and looks looks good. Um, uh, as for the tint, I have 30% tint all around. Um, I think it's a perfect mix between dark and light. Uh, <clears throat> I've had anywhere from 20% all the way up to 35%, and I think the 30 is absolutely perfect. Um, I don't like when you go too dark, it looks a little too tacky to me. Um, and the 35% is perfect. It lets you kind of hide what you need to, and uh, you know, hide anything that you have in the car. Uh, keeps it much cooler, and um, and it just looks good. 20% um, I've had in previous car, a previous car before. It was a little too dark for my liking. Um, I wasn't able to see as well at night, you know, backing out of parking spots and everything. And it just wasn't my style. It was a little too dark. Um, the 30% is a great mix. Um, I have little kids, and I always want to make sure. Um, you know that I can see where I'm, where I'm backing out of and uh, I don't make any mistakes like that so it's it's a great mix between uh, function and form um, and besides it's, I think it just looks good everyone has a different taste about what what kind of percent uh, tint they like and it's fine you know I don't have any issues I just think 30% for me uh, works the best I don't have any percent um, tint on the on the windshield um, I, I don't really think it's necessary I park in the garage my parking lot at work um, is pretty shaded, so I don't really have any issues with the car being or getting too hot on the inside. Uh, as for performance, um, I ended up, I did tune the car. Uh, let me open this here. I did end up tuning the car, which I said, I believe I said I didn't want to do uh, in my previous uh, video. Uh, but I ended up tuning it. Um, at first, I got the Cobb Access Port, of course. And I went with the, uh, I first did the Cobb Stage 1. Uh, I liked it. Definitely a great uh, bump in power. A lot more torque. Um, it felt good, but it just, I don't know. The, the numbers were all over the place, and I just wasn't crazy about it. Um, so I did some research, and I found a company called MA Performance. Um, they're a really reputable company. Uh, so I decided to go with their Stage 1 tune. Went with their Stage 1. It was perfect. It was actually a pretty massive... Um, bump in power even from the Cobb stage one everything just seemed a lot more smooth um, any any j jitters that the the Cobb stage one or the stock tune had um, that was completely get gone um, and it just it just seems to run a lot better um, so the next thing I did actually is I decided to go with their stage one plus tune which means basically their intake so I went with their intake, um, just because I was looking for a little bit extra sound. Uh, I was kind of curious to see what more it could do. I don't want to go to stage two. I want to kind of keep it simple as possible. Um, so I went with their stage one plus, and I got to say, I'm really happy with it. Uh, for for this car, I know it's not the fastest thing in the world, um, but it, it hauls. You know, when you want it to, it, it moves pretty quickly. You know, with a daily driven car, I don't want to make it unreliable. Um, by doing lots of tunes and going stage two and everything, you kind of just increase the risk of, of having your motor basically blow up. And I don't want to do that. I want to keep it as simple as possible. Like I said, it is a daily driven car. It is my only car that I use every single day. Um, I drive it to work. I drive the family in it. Uh, I go on trips in it. So I want to keep it as reliable, reliable as possible. Um, in the future, uh, if I do get a second car that I can, I can use as a beater, um, this can be the fun car, and I, I maybe will do uh, motor it when I don't have to rely on it so much, and I can 
you know, if I'm doing a project, I can leave it in the garage over the weekend and kind of get it done and not worry about, you know, if the motor does go, I can take my time building it and not having it, having to have it done in basically a weekend before I have to go to work on Monday. Um, that's pretty much it for exterior. Uh, you know, there's a couple little, you know, I have all LED bulbs around the car. Um, I have the diode dynamic tailless turn and the reverse, the whole, that whole thing there. Um, it's just really clean. I, I just try to keep it simple. I didn't try to, you know, I'm not putting over fenders on it. I'm not going wide body. I'm not doing anything crazy. I just wanted to keep it simple. The way I keep my cars is, um, I want to keep them as stock, but modded as possible, <laughs> if that makes sense. OEM plus is kind of my thing. I like to try to work off what the car already looks like, um, but just kind of enhance the parts that I think are important. You know, wheels and lowering it um, definitely is is a big a big change that a lot of people um, can get away with and just do. And the car looks great. For the interior, uh, I've done a few things, nothing crazy. Um, I have the Subi Speed PK style uh, steering wheel, which is the Alcantara. Uh, I just prefer Alcantara. Um, you know, my hands aren't greasy and everything, and I, I clean it often. Uh, and I've had this for over two years now, and it still looks as good as it did the first day. You know, as long as you're not getting in the car with, you know, greasy hands or you're eating in the car and touching things, um, it'll stay in great shape. You know, it's still fluffy. I Every couple of washes, I, I have a special toothbrush that I kind of fluff up the fibers and um, I just kind of wipe it down with a damp microfiber, but that's pretty much it. Um, not much maintenance to it. Once in a while, I'll clean it. I have this uh, product for Alcantara to clean it once in a while, but that's it. Um, I also have carbon fiber e-brake handle. I have a black anodized button um, from GCS, I believe. I also have boots done in Alcantara with red stitching done by Overland Designs. Um, for the shifter, I have the Cobb, um, Cobb Deller knob. I, this is my favorite knob out of everything. I don't like weighted knobs. I've tried it, don't like it. Um, I think this is a good mix between uh, size and practicality. Um, and I had it in my WX and I loved it, so I went with this one. I also have the Perrin Lockout, which was a pain in the ass to install but it looks great and it I haven't had to touch it since so I'm happy with it. I'm also running the um, Carpoy short shifter. Um, pretty easy install. I think it it feels great. I actually had the same one in my WRX and it just um, I love it. It's really notchy. The short the throw is really short. Um, it just feels really great great and when you when you're going through the gears quickly you know you're in gear. It's it has a very uh, gated feeling you you know it's it's very reassuring when you're when you're going through the gears quickly um, I also did the 18 plus black trim I can't stand anything silver or chrome um, so I did that when I did the wheel I have uh, the same bat this is not a sticker I mean it is a sticker but it's actually a gel coated sticker you kind of see it's you know bumped out it actually looks like a badge um, it matches the exterior ones I didn't want to put a sticker on there um, cause I wanted to keep it looking OEM and, and, um, as good as possible. Um, I have the access port there. I used an old phone mount to mount underneath, um, in the cubby there. Uh, a lot of people ask me how I mounted it and it worked out perfectly and, uh, it's in a good spot there. I also kind of dusty, but I also have the iDoing, um, Android head unit. I am so happy with this thing. I think it was like 300 bucks. Um, and it has CarPlay, it has navigation. Granted, I use CarPlay for everything, but um, it has so many features. It really amplified the sound. Um, I think it it's a great bang for your buck. Um, obviously, there's better units out there, but for 300 bucks, it's kind of hard to beat. I also, you can't see them, but I also did the kicker speaker upgrade. I did the tweeters, the door speakers, and I also did, I'll show you. Um, I also did the sub, uh, which was a must, I think. Um, I think it sounds good. I also have this, which is not really anything, but. I also noticed, uh, I did, a first, I got, I did the tweeters, um, which I think was the biggest difference. Um, it made things a lot more clear. It just sounded way better. 
and I started up the car. It's a little hot out today. We're at uh, 92 degrees, so I wanted to uh, kind of cool it down a little bit because I got to get back to work. But um, like I said, I did the speakers. Um, the, the, the tweeters were the biggest difference. Um, then after I put in the door cards, uh, I noticed a lot of the bass was taken out. It sounded better, but it was. Uh, so what I did, um, I ended up getting the sub, uh, and it really helped out. Uh, kind of balanced everything out. And I think it sounds really good, especially with the head unit. Um, I'll take you around and you kind of hear the exhaust kind of idling here. Um, kind of give you an example of uh, just what the head unit looks like when it's on. Um, it's pretty hot out, so sorry for the air conditioning. Um, this is just the base of the map that you get with the Android head unit. I have, um, I'll just plug in my phone right here. I have it running out of the console here, and I can get Apple CarPlay. Um, I'm recording on my phone, so I can't use it at this moment, but um, I mean, it's got everything you need here pretty cool it's pretty quick it starts up right away I have no issues with it it's never been giving me any problems um, I really enjoy it I had it for almost a year now and then uh, I don't plan on making any switches um, I, I've done a video on this actually but I've done the unit in uh, radar wire to the, to the mirror um, so there's no wires hanging down uh, I think it's great for the money I think it was around around 200 or something but for, for the price I think you get a pretty great radar uh, there's obviously better ones out there but I didn't need anything too crazy uh, just something to kind of give me the heads up um, you know if there's any um, you know personnel up ahead that's going to give me any trouble or um, just kind of keep me in the know um, that's pretty much it for the interior I kept it simple um, I do plan on trying to get rid of the chrome by putting the black 2018 plus knobs in here doing something about this they have cover, um, you know covers that you can put over that um, but otherwise this is pretty much it I, I was thinking about doing seats but I'm not sure if I want to get rid of the airbags um, that's a big concern of mine like I said this is a daily driver uh, so I don't want to go uh, too crazy and make this unsafe that's pretty much it um, I don't think I have any more mods um, that I haven't talked about and that I have changed since my last video. Um, you know, I, the only thing I may, might do is new wheels eventually. Like I said, I had some Volk uh, ZE40s on the way, but I decided, um, well, I'm still undecided if I want to go that route. Um, you know, I'm really happy with the current wheels and the current look, so I'm not sure if I want to change it up just yet. Um, as for plans of what I'm going to do in the future, uh, I'm really not sure. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going on two and a half years with this car now. Um, so, you know, I have those thoughts of wanting to go to something else, but I'm not entirely sure yet. I'm really happy with where it is at, at the current state. So, um, so yeah, that's it for now. And uh, if I have any other updates, I'll uh, be sure to make a video and, um, you know, post it up on here. Um, if there's anything you guys want to see more in depth uh, or, or have a dedicated video to that i'll be more than happy to do it for you guys uh, just let me know and um, i'll catch you in the next one